Members of the West Virginia House of Delegates are introducing a bill that would remove what's commonly known as the pink tax. Reporter Haley Kosick has more from the Capitol on just what that all means. The pink tax, aka the extra cost of being a female consumer. Roughly half of the population is subject to it and most aren't even aware of it. Those extra costs are tacked on to things like women's shampoo, shaving cream, or anything else considered a luxury. And while it is no secret that we can't stop Mother Nature, items just like this considered a luxury for hundreds of years, which means, yes, in fact, you are paying a luxury tax. But how can items like tampons, pads, and diapers be luxury items when you absolutely need them? Delegates are asking exactly that. And the reality is when you have something so basic, something that we need, you know, every month, <laughs> once a month for a week at a time, it's a cost that we accrue that we can't avoid. It's not a luxury. Um, we absolutely need these amenities, but then we have, you know, we're accruing an additional cost that actually can be debilitating. House Bill 2500 now proposing to reverse those extra costs by cutting the sales tax on feminine hygiene products and diapers. Sponsors of the bill say this will provide relief to West Virginian women and children who make up more than half of working families in the state. We're after true quality of life and I'm trying to make sure you can succeed here. If this is just one measure so you have a little extra change in your pocket, so be it. I'll be incredibly proud. The bill is on its way to the House Finance Committee and supporters are hopeful it will get on the floor. Haley Kosick for West Virginia Tonight. All right, let's take